Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Homeworld. Alright, so in the previous episode we saw how we found that the beacon of the castle was uh, uh, on screen, but we couldn't erase the castle herself. So we need to figure out what has happened. Well, first of all, we need to retire the uh, scouts because we don't need them. We start the research on the next. Commencing Corvette thing, chassis which is research. The Corvette chassis. Standing by. Let's start harvesting. Acquisition enabled. We can now build interceptors. The first of the fighter craft that was actually well relatively useful, useful because in comparison to the scout, it has got. Way much more firepower, way bigger coverage. Well, actually, the coverage is the same. It does have more armor, and it's slightly heavier and somewhat slower, but that's fine. I'll want 10. I said 10. Production Build. underway. Reporting. And I'll probably also order a probe. Construction commencing. Probe complete. Now I won't send out a probe until we are much, much closer uh, to having an actual navy to fight against. <coughs> Whatever may be out there that caused the castle to not respond. Ready for orders. Fighters, I love these little guys. They're so useful. They can even hit ships way bigger than them. To much, to very great effect. Uh, the only type of vessel they're not very good against is uh, corvettes, which are and basically designed against uh, fi um, against fighter craft. But anything bigger than that, like frigates, uh, destroyers, and even much bigger than that, heavy cruisers, they can easily handle. Well, not handle, distract. That's usually the purpose against their ships, because those big guns simply cannot lock on to a target that fast. And I like the sleek design, the, the double mass drivers here. And I believe there's only a single pilot in these. I don't know about the Corvettes, I, I suspect there's probably a weapons officer on board those. And let's just wait until we get some more armors to play with. Alright, we have plenty of RUs. I will need some more of pretty much every type of ship. But for now I will just restrain myself to not overspend. Corvette all, chassis research complete. If I lose a ship, it's Light lost Corvette forever. Available for construction. So that's the RUs. No Commencing heavy them. Corvette upgrade research. Now, I, I could, in theory, build light corvettes, but I will never do that, because I, I just don't feel it is a very good investment for the amount of RUs. Because it's basically a very heavy fighter with a single turret mount. Uh, which is decent against fighters, but it's not great. The heavy corvettes has two turrets. It's, it got, it's got better armor, it's, it's slower. Definitely slower. But it's just a much better ship. And even the heavy corvette eventually just becomes you know, somewhat less relevant once you get multi-gun corvettes. But that's way in the future and we will not be dealing with any craft like that for the foreseeable future. Right now I just want a basic defensive force. Interceptor complete. And I'll wait until the uh, heavy to Group one designated. research has been finished. Because it seems like it's dangerous out here on the edge of the Karak system. I always wonder how they bring stuff on board. It just seems like big vacuum cleaners.
exactly how many RUs are in these asteroids or gas clouds, like over here. I have to guess. But I do know that every load of a resource collector is exactly 700 RUs. And I really wish there were time controls in this, but there are not. Or if there are, then I've forgotten it, and I just can't remember, and I just can't be asked to find out. It doesn't matter. Right, it's full. Return home, resource collector. Bring me a bountiful prize. Heavy Corvette upgrade research complete. It's about time. Heavy Corvette available for construction. Right, that's... no, no, not those. Heavy Corvettes. See, coverage of 33%. Still a medium maneuverability. Much better armor. Almost twice the armor of a light Corvette. And much more firepower that even rivals the Interceptor. For direct firepower, but of course these are slightly more versatile. The crap against frigates, though. Production They're just not underway. fast enough to, to really go against the turrets of a frigate. Unless you have an uh, overwhelming force, you really need to be careful about that. Not that we're facing any of those craft, but... It's something you have to keep in mind. I find it kind of amusing there's only two resource dump, dump points on the mothership. Such a big ship I couldn't fit more on there. And again, it is also so slightly funny that the fact, despite the fact that the uh, mothership obviously has very big thrusters and probably has ability to move, it never moves. It mothership. cannot move. It can only move through uh, hyperspace. And that's not uh, nearly the same one at all. These are the. The heavy corvettes are building, so let's go find Probe out what happens dispatch. to Car Slim. is under attack. Reporting. Engage incoming units. The mothership must be defended. Group 3 designated. Target confirmed. Group 1. Come on, move out. The mothership is under fire. Group 1 reporting enemy contact. Yeah, don't do that, please. It's a bit difficult when your ships can't get momentum. Target confirmed. Luckily, my heavy corvettes aren't taking over there. And even the guns on the mothership are quite more than enough to deal with those fighters. Target acquired. Group 3 copies. These guys aren't that tough. 
Locked on target. You are very brutish. And I really prefer it if you didn't destroy my research vessel. Sustained minor hull damage. Repairs are underway. The car Salim has been destroyed. Heavy weapon damage is visible on the remaining fragment. A salvage corvette must be sent to retrieve the mission data recorder. Well, I'll do that. But I'll probably need some reinforcements. Let's get some more interceptors. Construction commencing. Because with those guys out there, I'm not sending them out unescorted. So it's getting longer, longer between the supply runs. I'll just wait until my ships have uh, refitted themselves. Because one of the mechanics of this current uh, of this game is that ships have fuel. Well, the smaller ships have fuel. Anything above uh, Corvette resources depleted. Has All jobs on hold. Big enough to hold their own reactor, but the smaller ships do not. So that's something you have to keep track of because once they run out of fuel, they basically cannot move. Or they move so slowly, it's almost not worth bothering with them. Because they will just be very big targets. No, they're not sending any more units at me right now, so I'll just wait until the are until the harvest is stopped. I'll not try to spend every RU. I'll wait until the end of the mission for most of that. I'll just try not to lose too many ships right now. Because I kinda want to build another research vessel, but uh, I don't really need to right now. Of course, if you want to be really gamey, you, you can try to salvage enemy vessels. Uh, that's not very practical right now. Though. Since we're only fighting against uh, corvettes and fighters, and the risk reward against capturing one of those is negligible. Even if I could capture a corvette, which I'm not entirely sure I can. I, I know you need at least two salvage corvettes to capture one frigate, but I've never actually bothered to try and capture a corvette or a fighter. Because for one, they're either too fast. Or they have too much fire firepower and they will just simply destroy you. Right, there should be one more fighter coming in. Yeah, there he is. Interceptor complete. So we'll for duty. Get them all Group together. One reassigned. Exclamation and you guard that. Ready for escort. Acknowledged. And you also go into X formation. Actually, let's go into custom you know, that's custom sphere formation. Establishing sphere formation. 
And assignment. go this way. Underway. I could put the vitals in sphere formation, but that doesn't make them more effective. Whereas the uh, heavy corvettes, with their dual turrets, are much more effective uh, in sphere formation, because they don't need to maneuver quite as much. They can uh, hit anything, everything in an arc in front of them, I believe, whereas the interceptors can really only shoot forward. Let's go retrieve the black box. Just yet. All right. Group ten reporting. Wonder how long it's been out here in space. Damaged like that. There's probably nobody left to save. Nothing but their story. You could have done that. Carl wasn't even armed, as far as I know. It's basically an uh, explorer vessel. fills up, the uh, salvage will be completed. Until then, let's make sure that it stays safe. Priority alert. Additional hostile units detected on an intercept course with the car Salim. Protection of the salvage team is a primary objective. It must return to the mothership with the mission recorder. We need that data. Right then, let's... It's an, it's an enemy carrier. They appear to be reinforcing their squadrons of fighters and corvettes. Not complete every holding pattern. Let's make sure that we don't get too close to the carrier, because those carriers can tend to rip fighters to shreds. Locked on target. And it's not really important for us. We just need to make sure that. Target acquired. Group 3 reporting. Target acquired. Uh, Group 1 acknowledged. Go fast, come on. Make sure that the selfish Corvette makes it back, otherwise, we'll have to restart with a new selfish Corvette. Target destroyed. Dead. Holding Anyway, 
I will see you all next time.